Um, so my name's Elsie, I'm the Senior Community Project Lead at Age UK Sheffield and I've brought along my amazing colleague Nicola, who you might recognise as I've brought round to most people here some of the Dementia Advice Sheffield leaflets. Um, so Nicola is one of our wonderful uh, DAS coordinators, so she's going to speak to you first about DAS and what that is. Yeah. What do I press? I'll press it. Okay. Uh, hi everyone, um, thank you for inviting us. Sorry, I'm a little bit nervous because I didn't know there were going to be quite so many people, but um, thank you for letting us come along. So, um, Dementia Advice Sheffield, I've got about five minutes just to talk through what it actually is. Uh, so, the cu a couple of parts to it really. The first part I really want to get across to people is that it's like a one-stop shop, like a single point of access for any non-medical questions related to dementia. Um, I say non-medical because we're not clinicians in this role, we're not health professionals, um, and it's all about providing that information to people. So anybody and everybody can call us up, so whether it's a professional, um, a member of the public, um, a person living with dementia, a family carer, um, with any non-medical question, our aim is to hopefully answer that inquiry, whether that be through you know, providing information, signposting, referring on to other services. Really, the whole point is for that person who's probably feeling really overwhelmed anyway with, oh, gosh, who do I call about that? Daz, that, that's what we're here for. We're that single point of access. So I can't get it across enough to you. Just give our number out, tell your patients to ring us, um, give the leaflets out. We've got them everywhere, all, all over libraries, community centres, GP surgeries, everywhere, really. Um, and we've got this patient-facing leaflet that we designed last year, and it just really gives an idea of the kind of help we can provide to people. Um, and so that's the single point of access bit. Um, next slide, please. <coughs> And the other bit is that we have professional referrals. So we've got professional referral service. I don't know why it does that. Um, and so we have a, a DAS referral. And any professional, including volunteers, can complete this form. That then comes to us at Age UK Sheffield um, within DAS. We, we don't triage this referral. What we do is we, we pass it on to what we call the Local People Keeping Well Partnership. Um, and PKWs for short, and those are community support organisations across the city. Um, so rather than you guys thinking, oh gosh, which part of the city do I need to send a referral to, it comes to us as a single point of access and then we send it on to the relevant PKW. Um, it's a really simple form, as you can see. Um, if you could just go on to the next slide. Yeah. So if I just talk about the PKW, so there's, I think... 10. There's 10 across the city and it covers the whole of Sheffield and the whole point is to ensure that that person with dementia or memory loss or cognitive impairment is linked in with their local community support organisation. Each one has a dementia link worker um, and they all offer very similar things. They all offer six monthly wellbeing calls by the telephone so that they have that ongoing support from that dementia link worker. Um, and then they all have a range of different things, um, dementia carers support, um, memory cafes, uh, and I've just given some examples here, singing groups, allotment groups, exercise sessions, all sorts of things. So the whole point is that it's dementia focused local support to those people who live in Sheffield. And I think that's five minutes up. So I'll pass over to Elsie now. Thank you, Nicola. Yeah, it's really hard to narrow it down to just 10 minutes because there is quite a lot of support out there for people living with dementia. And what we do at Age UK Sheffield and all of the other local people keeping well organisations is we try and enable people to live well with dementia. So, you know, you hear that a lot. What does it mean? Uh, living well with dementia means enabling people to continue doing the things that they enjoy, maybe trying new things and encouraging them to keep, keep living their life as best they can. Yeah. So, as Nicola mentioned, um, DAS put people in touch with their local dementia-friendly activities. That could be lunch clubs, cafes, singing groups, walking groups, and also dementia day centres. Um, so we have a bunch of these uh, referral pathways on our stands just over there. Do feel free to pick one up. Uh, ev everyone um, should, be should be able to get a funded place for a Dementia Day Centre. So a Dementia Day Centre is around uh, 10 till 3pm, loads of different activities, and most Dementia Day Centres use a cognitive stimulation therapy approach. 
So cognitive stimulation therapy has been found to increase cognitive function in some people and also increase uh, quality of life scores. It also uses reminiscence therapy, music, physical activities, crafts, and most centres use a person-centred approach so they get to know the customers and can provide activities that they enjoy. It also gives carers a little bit of a break um, as carer stress is so high. Um, so people that do not have an existing care package will be referred to Age UK Sheffield. We have four centres across the city. But people with an existing care package um, can go through adult social care and get a funded place through one of the alternative day centres. There's uh, Chef Care and Care to Care and Darnell Wellbeing. We do also have Young Onset Provision, which we're really lucky to have in Sheffield. I know there are some... Sorry. An issue with our PowerPoint, technology. Um, but yes, so we do have Young Onset Provision in Sheffield. So Age UK Sheffield receive all referrals from neurology for people diagnosed under 65. Um, the two social aspects of the Young Onset Provision is there are dementia day centres um, in the north at Care to Care and in the south at the Botanical Gardens Dorothy Fox Centre with us at Age UK Sheffield. Uh, there is also the Young Onset Hub, which is... Um, pretty much open to anybody to attend who might be facing similar issues. It's a really, really valuable peer support network for people. Um, I attend the Young Onset Hub with my colleague and it's they've become like a family and I think that's what a lot of uh, the groups that I visit tend to say. It's, it's a lifeline for a lot of people. Um, dementia can be one of the most isolating conditions that people have to live with. So getting that network of support, uh, whether it's through a dementia cafe, whether it's through the PKW, whether it's coming to the Young Onset Hub, it, it really means a lot to people. So I think for you guys, um, it's just knowing what's out there and being able to tell with with confidence to your patients that you know you, you believe it'll be in their best interest to have a go and I think as, as um, Sarah mentioned earlier it's getting the ball rolling to access this support that makes all the difference to people and finally if it'll let me oh there we go. Um, so the Dementia Strategy launch is in a couple of weeks. The number one commitment on the Dementia Strategy for 2025 to 2030 is for Sheffield to be a dementia-friendly city. And that is the aim of the Sheffield Dementia Action Alliance. We do also work with GP practices to help make your practice more dementia friendly. Uh, there's free training, resource, guidance, um, pretty much anything you can think of in terms of support to help you. We work with all businesses, so not just medical professionals, not just health and social care organisations. Um, we're, we're, our aim now is to get the customer facing organisations on board with being more dementia friendly, to allow people to live well with dementia, to keep going out to their high street, to keep attending things that they used to attend. Um, so a little ask is if you do know any biz, sorry, if you do know any business owners or you um, have a really good friend that, that owns a business, please encourage them to sign up to the SDAA. There is a bunch of leaflets as well on our stall. Please do take some. Um, I think, you know, small changes make a big difference to everybody's lives. I think if you're being accessible for people with dementia, you're accessible for all sorts of other disabilities and conditions. Um, so thank you very much. And it's Kerry next, I think. I'll also be here all day if you have any questions. That's fine. <laughs>